In, in all the time I knew him, he always, if he said yes, he would come. I told the, the guy, he said, well, that's wonderful. And he came, he had a wonderful, I said to him, by the way, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna drink, right? Well, I won't sit here drinking my pub, I just won't bother. But he didn't bother. He drank water all night, and he had the most marvelous time. And he ran me the next day, and he said, you know, that was absolutely, all the, all the guys, all my mates, said, it's wonderful. I really enjoyed that. He said, more than I've enjoyed something for ages. I said, that's because you were sober. And he told me to bugger off. And then, and I said to Mary, I said, you know, I think, I think he might have turned the corner. I just think he might have done that, you know, because he looked so great. And, and three weeks later, he's arrested, there's a fracas. Then he goes into hospital, and two weeks after that, he dies. And you're left thinking, well, he did that for me, that little, that little spot, because we were mates and he wanted to please me. But he didn't want to please me that much that he would change course. He was heading even then. For the edge. <laughs> One of the great tragedies. Will there ever be a player better than him? I hope I live to see him. <laughs> I've not seen one so far. Even Ronaldo. Well, it's hard to judge because they can't go in two footed on Ronaldo, can they? Well, no, but no, of course. This is the point. You know, you'd see him play, George play. You'd come off and go out at night, and from the back, the back of his knee around to his, his ankle was black and blue. I mean, literally. I mean, you'd kick him. I mean, look at the famous clip of Chopper Harris trying to knock him over. And the other thing too that George never did was dive. You know, he, he thought it's a matter of honor. If somebody clobbered him, he wouldn't go down. He'd get up and he'd clobber him back too, of course. And that, he's a hard little nut too. But, but that's the difference in nowadays. You, you were talking about, you, you know, you don't get up to, to United now. I was talking to some Barnsley fans on holiday about, you know, their celebrity fans. And he said, yeah, Park, he used to go. He said, now you only see him at Barnsley if they're on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> they're on the telly. The last time I was at Barnsley, was, I was invited up there when they were going to get promoted to play Bradford. And, uh, and they tell the reason I don't like going to Barnsley because they always put me next to Dickie Bird and he always starts crying. <laughs> Does he <laughs> why? Get, get a wet shoulder pad. He's very lacrimose, Dickie, you know. He just cries at the slightest whim. So, um, no, I, I, I mean, I, I go up there occasionally, but... Uh, I mean, you, you change as you get older. You change and you're, 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 you're taking your love in a different way for, for all kinds of sporting events. But, but you still do, because I remember when the Greenoff brothers uh, played for Manchester United, Jimmy and Brian, and they yes. were both, both from Barnsley. And apparently that's, that's what they used to do. The minute they came off after a game, the first thing they'd ask was, how Barnsley gone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it still tug? The fact that y your lad never got to play for Yorkshire. Well, I mean, I, I, whenever I am in the world, I look for the first of all for the Barnsley result. And I remember once many years ago, I was in Los Angeles, and I used to put the result, football results in the top press of the LA Times. And I picked it up one day, and it said, Barnsley 1, Stockport County 21. And I spent, I mean, the communications weren't like they are now, and I spent about 500 quid trying to find out what the bloody result was. It was a one-all drawing in the newspaper. <laughs> it was a very expensive newspaper. Were you 